Hi friends and welcome to Crumbs from Gerard. The theme today is Are you religious or spiritual? And the reading is from Matthew chapter 18 verses 21 and 22. Peter came and said to Jesus, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy times seven. Now the, there were Jews who believed that forgiveness should be done once, twice, and a maximum of thrice, the rabbi said. So Peter was being extra generous. He said not only thrice, but double thrice and one more for good measure, seven times. Now that sounded good. But Jesus wanted to change Peter's mindset. Peter had a religious mindset, a mindset that is calculating, keeping score, keeping time. I forgive you once, twice, thrice, seven times, and then I can hold a grudge because I've given you enough time. A religious mindset keeps score, keeps time, is calculating. It will keep the rule, but lose out on the spirit of the rule and therefore it will have it will be based more on shades of fear than love now jesus wanted to change this in the mind of peter and for each one of us from a religious mindset which is rule focused to a spiritual mindset which is love and therefore the parable that follows show the unconditional love and forgiveness unbelievable love unbelievable forgiveness not calculating not keeping score going being going beyond a spiritual mindset keeps the spirit and sometimes might even break the rule to keep the spirit of love a spiritual mindset works out of shades of love not fear so let me now give you some examples of how we can sometimes talk and then you can evaluate whether it's religious mindset or a spiritual mindset. I have finished my prayer. Now I can carry on doing what I have to do. I don't eat meat on Fridays, though I love fish on Fridays. I have fulfilled my Sunday obligation. How late can I come for mass for it still to be valid? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that we shouldn't have religious practices. We must have. And all our practices, prayer and other, other forms of devotion are necessary. Because spirituality needs a religious practice. But a religious practice without a spirituality remains a mere practice. And therefore now, put on your thinking caps. Pick up one of your religious practices and ask yourself, why do I do what I do? Lord, open my heart during this minute meditation.